In this lesson, we're going to find the greatest common factor. Sometimes it's called the GCF, and I bet you can figure out why. All right, so first we need to know what a factor is. Factor are the two numbers or more, it doesn't have to be two, but the numbers that you multiply together are called factors. The answer to a multiplication problem is the product. So we're going to be looking for numbers that multiply together to give us a certain product. So there's our definitions. You have to understand factors and products. And we're going to be looking for the greatest, the biggest, common between two or more numbers factor. The number that you is multiplied to get both numbers. So let's just take an example. Um, 8 and 12. So 8 and 12 here are the products, the answers. Those two are the answers. We want to know what numbers multiply together to get eight. To get eight. First, we'll do eight. So one times eight. So one and eight are factors. So 1 times 8, and I like to put space in between so I can keep them in order. 1 times 8 equals 8. What other numbers multiply to make 8? 2 times 4 multiply together to make 8. Is there anything else? 3 times anything? 4 times 2? 5 times anything? No. 6 times anything? 7 times anything? And 8 times 1. So that's it. What are the factors that make 12? 1 times 12. 2 times anything? Yeah. 2 times 6. 3 times anything? 3 times 4. 5 times anything make 12? 6 times anything we have? 7 times anything? Nope. 8, no, 9. So once we found the 2 times 6, we were, we were pretty much done. So those are the factors of 8. So these are the factors on this side. And these are the factors of 12. So what are the common factors? Well, I see a 1. I see a 2. And I see a 4. So the common factors are 1, 2, and 4. Not F. How about 4? So these are the common factors. And what's the greatest common factor? 4. This is going to be important when we get to the next lesson where we are simplifying and putting fractions into the simplest form. Let's try one more. Um, 20 and 24. What are the factors of 20? These are the products. These are the answers. Okay. Now we want to know what numbers are factors. What numbers are factors of 20? So 1 and 20. 2 times anything? Yep. 2 and 10. Now, there won't be any that are bigger than 10 because that's the next one. Uh, 3 times anything equal 20? No. 4 times anything? 4 and 5. 6 times anything? No. 7? No. 8? No. 9? No. 10? No. So there are the factors of 20. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Those numbers all multiply together in some form to make 20. What are the factors of 24? 1 and 
24th. 2 times anything? 2 and 12. 3 times anything? 3 and 8. 4 times anything? 4 and 6. 7 times anything? No. 8, yes. 9, no. 10, no. 11, no. 12, yes. So we have all of our factors of 24. Now what are the common factors? Well, that's the same. That's the same. That's the same. And that's it. So again, the common factors are 1, 2, and 4. And the greatest common factor is 4. If you're able to do that, you're well on your way to being able to find the greatest common factor. And, coming up in a, a future lesson, finding the simplest form of a fraction.